guys, welcome back to Kalia's World. Kalia's World. Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about post-bed programs, okay? So, we're doing another medical school vlog or another medical school video because I haven't done one in a very long time. It's a new year and I told you guys, we're getting into it. We're doing every day. We're making it all happen. New videos every single week. So first and foremost, to get started, make sure that you like this video down below. Most importantly, make sure that you have subscribed to my channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button that's right on down below. And also make sure that you comment on this video and even more. Make sure that you follow me on all of my social media accounts and let's go ahead and get started. So I remember in a, one of my videos a couple videos ago, I can't exactly remember which, but we talked about how I went and spoke to the Virginia Commonwealth University pre-med post baccalaureate program people that are in charge of it. So um, if you guys don't know what a post bac program is, uh, there are multiple different ones depending on what you want to go into, what type of graduate school you want to go into, or what type of like, program you want to go into. If you are a pre-med student right now, you're in college, or even if you've been out of college for a long time, you didn't even take any pre-med classes at all, but you're just like, I think I want to go into medicine. I think I want to be a doctor now. Post back programs work for people like that. They also work for people that have taken pre med classes all throughout undergrad and are now looking for a way to even make themselves a better candidate to get into medical school. So, if you have never taken a science class, really, you are you are not on the pre med track in undergrad, you do not know anything about that, but you decide that you want to be a doctor now, there are post back programs that are typically two to three years, and with those taking intro level biology intro level uh, chemistry physics all that good stuff that simple pre-med students take and that's a two-year program because obviously you have like 12 classes that you have to take just in order to make yourself even a candidate for medical school now for the post program that i want to do and for other students that are pre-med in undergrad right now or that were pre-med in undergrad and just graduated or are just trying to figure out what the heck I want to get into medical school, I don't know if I'm the best candidate or I know I'm not the best candidate or things like that or I think I need to make myself a better candidate for, pre for medical school, post programs are for you also. So there are multiple different scopes of post back programs. Some post back programs are associated with medical schools, some are not at all. Most post back programs in general either have a one year or a two year option. With the two year option, you are taking even more classes and typically that two year uh, option, it's not just about classes, they also have you working in clinicals, um, working with like certain doctors and stuff like that like a couple of the semesters are like just focused on that like you're just a volunteer on the side of the community you are just uh doing clinicals with doctors and different things like that to make yourself a better candidate like let's say that's where you were lacking at in your application then maybe a postdoc program that is dedicated more towards that, like a two-year program that's dedicated more towards doing community service and making sure that you get clinical hours and building those types of things, that may be for you. Most two-year programs do focus on that. And also you take a lot more classes just to kind of give yourself a better overall chance for getting into medical school, more science-based classes also. And if your post bac program is associated with a medical school, then that typically means that you also have the ability to take classes with those medical students um, in their medical school or you have the option of being taught by professors of that medical school. So it is a really good thing to go to a postdoc program that is associated to a medical school first and foremost. Um, but also you have one year program postdoc programs to where you are taking like 12 credits, 12 to 15 credits each semester. So we have two semesters and you're taking 12 to 15 credits each one of those semesters. And they are upper level science courses and they are heavily science based, obviously. And that is what you are taking to make yourself a better candidate. Sit there and be like, hey, medical school, I may have done the greatest um, in my undergrad science courses, but let me sit there and show you that I can do well in upper level science courses and this is what I'm doing here. Every postdoc program obviously is different. Every postdoc program is obviously looking for different things. That's another thing to be aware of. So depending on the postdoc program that you want to get into, depends on the GPA or science GPA that you need. And they look at both of those. They look at science GPAs and they also look at um, 
your overall GPA. Uh, even post bac programs do that, not just medical school. Also want to be aware of the fact that some post bac programs also require letters of recommendations. And so they may ask for one letter of recommendation, they may ask for three. And depending on the school, those may be like all science class uh, recommendations. Or they may be like a work related or just anyone that knows you, we want that recommendation. Anyone that can speak to your character and who you are, that's the recommendation that we want. Um, there also is an application fee with post bac programs. And uh, you also have to write a personal letter. You have to sit there and say, this is who I am and this is why I want to get into medical school, which you also will have to do in medical school. Um, and then another thing that goes with every single post postback program is that you have got to take either the GRE or the MCAT. Not every post back program accepts the GRE score as a test score to determine whether or not you can get into their post back. Most post back programs do require you have taken the MCAT in order to get into their program. Now, when I spoke to the VCU post back program, they do accept the GRE as a score. And since I do want to go there, what I decided to do was let me go ahead. And what they also recommended was like, the MCAT is harder to take. Obviously, the MCAT is a harder test, it's a longer test, it's a more expensive test. And every single time that you apply for medical school, you will have to show every single MCAT score that you have ever taken. So let's say you take the MCAT now just to get into the post bac program and you don't do that great on it, but then you do it as a post bac program and you take the MCAT again and you do well. That's awesome that you did well on that second one, but you will still have to show what you got on the first one that you took also. And you may have to answer to that medical school of why did you do why did you do better on this one than you did on that one? What exactly changed? Another good thing about going to um, post our programs that are actually associated with the medical school. Most programs that are associated with the medical school have some type of deal laid out to where if you do well in that post back program, you may have a waived application fee for their medical school. You may have an automatic interview for their medical school or even some of them, you may just automatically be accepted into their uh, medical school if you do well in that program. I really hope this video was helpful to someone out there. That's the goal. Um, so if it was helpful for you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, DM me on my social media, anything like that. I'm definitely here and there'll be more videos coming out, but like where I'm at, um, what I'm doing, how I'm studying for the GRE, the MCAT, whatever, whatever. All right, guys. So thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.